moment, of course, and that moment is the very first moment that you can show your children that mummy laid eyes on daddy. Of course, I hadn't special. thought of that. How many children have you got? Two. Two. Emily and Charlie. And how, how old are they? Uh, 27 and 25. Oh. And what do they think when... What do they say when you first show them that? And how old were they when you first showed them that? Oh, little. It, we, yeah. we always used to watch Blind Date still on Saturday evenings yeah. as a family. So well, they... I suppose to them it just must seem normal. Yeah. Well, as normal, normal. I think they've had a sort of love-hate relationship with the, uh, with the level of embarrassment, depending on how many teenage hormones that they've, uh, they've yeah. had in there. But generally, yeah. I think now yeah. I'm sure that they're watching today and uh, they'll be very happy. Well, take us through your arc of your relationship then. So you, you, you have your Blind Date, you're off. You find that you are very compatible well, straight away. You know, you in terms of height, yes, 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 yes that's a good start. Uh, but in terms of your personalities, when did you start to realise this was going to go somewhere? This wasn't just going to be a bit of TV fun, and you know, you'd stay in touch but move on. When did you realise it was putting down well, roots? Life went back to normal, obviously, after we'd done all the filming for the show. Yeah. And I lived in the Midlands, and Alex lived in London, so it was it wasn't an easy relationship, ge geographically. Hmm. So when. So he came and saw me for the weekend, and when he went home, I thought, mm, I'm really sad. And that's when I thought, there's something in there. And we managed a weekend relationship, and so we got engaged and married. Alex, um, the reason that you choose the partner behind the screen, when you're the picker, which you were, mm. is because you ask, uh, I think it's three questions, that's right. wasn't it? Um, what was it about your lovely wife's answers that made you think that's the person for me? Because, of course, we don't have blind dates anymore, but we do have dating apps. Yes. And mm. people get very frustrated with them, don't know how to, it seems, you know, find out who's right for them. You're in the perfect position, because it was, it was like the equivalent of a dating app, wasn't it? You're asking a few questions and trying to get the answers that are going to lead you to a... Successful relationship. I'm very glad we don't have to. Uh, we didn't have to do that any. Yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, at this particular point. But I, if I'm honest with you, Susanna, I did a sort of eeny meeny miny mo on the uh, on my card. So I actually it was very fatalistic. This and I can't really what remember. What do you mean by that? Well, when I was choosing, yeah, uh, you'll see that I was saying, well, I don't know which one to go for. But what was really important was Graham's quick reminder. And I think that, actually, <laughs> he would be uh, very important on any dating app these days. Yeah, so anybody needs a Graham's quick, quick reminder. reminder. Very, right. very important. Totally. Um, now, of course, Scylla was famous for saying, you know, do I need to get a hat? Yeah. And, of course, in your case, she did. <laughs> but when we lost Scylla, that must have meant... That must have really hit home mm. for you. Yeah. She was your match. Really maker. sad. We, yes, we wouldn't be married without her, really. We wouldn't have met, certainly. Yeah. Um, very sad, and we almost felt like she was our fairy godmother yeah. because yes. we looked to her, and she was always really kind and sweet to us. She was lovely. Stayed wasn't in she? touch. She was a lovely so. woman. Yeah, lovely. she always kept in touch. Uh, the, the, the curse of having a, a long and happy marriage, and I know this from my own experience, is that everybody <laughs> says to you after you've gone past about twenty years, the question that gets asked more and more often: What's the secret of a long and happy marriage? <laughs> and the answer is usually don't go to bed on an argument. I think uh, uh, that's, a, oh, that's oh, a good one. Although that's... that has and happened. I, yeah. <laughs> what's, I would what's... totally agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> what's I your think shared value. I yeah. think are really important, and I think that if you have a similar values and you have a sort of similar outlook on life, and you want the same things for life, and you grow towards each other in a, yes. in a marriage, I think then that actually, if you make sure you focus on that, then that's a really important I, I thing. Think, I think that, that phrase, if you grow in the same direction, and I often see it, it's a bit like two vines being planted at the foot of a wall and the years go by, and if you're unlucky, the vines grow in opposite directions, and you end up suddenly you're looking at this great gap between <laughs> you. If you're lucky, and it is luck, isn't it? It's a, it's a lottery. Yeah. Uh, if you're lucky, you sort of grow in roughly the same direction, and you end up still reasonably close together, and that's just luck. Uh, the more you practise, the luckier you get. Oh, that's <laughs> a very good way to it. Well, many congratulations on it. Thank, Thank you. When's your anniversary? It was last week. Last week. It was last week? Yeah, yes, exactly. Okay. So we've been married over 30 years, years now. now. Fantastic. Yeah. It's fantastic to see you both. Thank you. Um, thank you. you make a lovely great. couple. I think you'll be very happy together. Oh, thank <laughs> you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Uh, now then, here's Laura. Uh, she's still up at uh, the Glasgow Science Centre with the weather.